Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you, as you can tell by the title, a full review on my new hair dryer. I um, picked up the Bio Ionic, you can see right here, um, 10 times speed um, hair dryer. And I had posted, I want to say on Snapchat and like the Instagram stories, like a kind of a snippet about this when I, like the first day I got it and I used it. Um, it looks like this. It is so beautiful, so sleek. Um, I absolutely love this hair dryer. Let's just preface it by saying that. Um, let me also state that I did pay for this with my own money. This is definitely not sponsored by Bioionic, although I wish they would sponsor me because I love their products. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I did purchase this. I got this from Ulta. Um, I got it for the, they were having the 20% off a couple months ago. I think I've had this for about a month, I want to say. A month and a half. Almost two months, I want to say. I've had this. Um, and they were doing the 20% off, you know, and it, this was applicable to it, which I was very happy about. And then I cashed in some reward points because this is a very pricey hair dryer. It's worth every penny and I would have paid full price, but if you can get a discount, why not, right? So let's start by saying this is nothing like the T3. I have had, let me put this down and kind of talk to you a little bit. I have had a T3 hair dryer for at least 10 years. I've had about three of them in those 10 year, you know, that 10 year frame. Um, the very first one I got, it was like a pink one, and it um, I used that for, I would say, a good, I would say maybe nine months, and then something happened to it. It, it had a, a, something with the engine. So Sephora was really great, because that's where I got it originally, and they just let me exchange it. Even after nine months, they just let me get a new one. And I still have that one. I actually bring that with me when I travel. So then I got a, um, so I had that, and then I got the one that came out that was the, um, what was it, like the white and the black. And they had that for a while, like for years. And I used that and then that ended up shorting out. Um, so then I got the one that I have now, which is like the kind of like has the purple trim. And I've had that. I mean, T3 hair dryers, they're great. There's nothing bad I could say about them. Um, they dry your hair. They're, they're very good. Um, I just felt that it took me longer to do my hair, obviously. And when I got my hair done the last time, um, they used this hair dryer on me. They, and it, and keep in mind, I have very long hair. I have very, very thick hair. It doesn't probably come across on, on the camera how thick my hair is, but if you've, you know, if you have thick hair, you know, like it's, there's a lot of hair here. So, but they, she was able to dry my hair really quick and get it really smooth and really pretty. So I, I kept that in the back of my mind. So I was like, I really don't need a new hair dryer. You know, I have my T3, it works fine. Um, and the more I did kind of research on this and I, I read a lot of reviews, I kind of thought to myself, you know, maybe I should just bite the bullet and try it. I love the Bioionic products. That's what my style winder is from, my hair brush that I use. I pretty much use like all of their products. The flat iron I got was from them and I, I just, I really enjoyed them. Um, and I haven't had any problems. My hair is healthy. It doesn't have any breakage. It just, it, it's really good to my hair. So I said, why not give this a try? Um, and they have a lot of hair dryers. You do not have to get this one. This is just, like I said, the most expensive one. And I kind of thought if I'm going to get a hair dryer, I want to get like the, the best one that they have and the one that was used on my hair that I know worked with my hair. So this thing is so lightweight. It is, I, I can't tell you how lightweight it is. You wouldn't think it because the, the nozzle is so long and it just, you don't, you wouldn't think it, but this thing is so, it's like a light as a feather. It, it really is. Um, and I saved the box here because it's, it's the Pro Ultra Light Speed Dryer. And it's it's patented Eco Drive um, motor dries your hair in less than 10 minutes. Now, if you didn't have as long thick hair as I did, it definitely would dry it under, in under 10 minutes. For me, I could get my hair dried in under 20 minutes, which is amazing because it usually would take me about 40 minutes to dry my hair with, with my T3. So to be able to dry my hair in under 20 minutes, that's phenomenal. That's, that's amazing. Um, it does come out very... Um, it does have a stronger, you know, stream of, you know, heat. And that's, that's why that's because of the, the motor and everything. However, it doesn't burn your hair. That's what I have to like reiterate to you guys. Just because it's more powerful, it doesn't mean it's going to burn my hair. And I make sure I have the nozzle on. I always blow my hair with the um, diffuser on here because it's just going to concentrate the hair, uh, the heat, and it's not going to make your hair get all frizzy. Let me just tell you, after I, I use this for the first time, I mean, it's there's definitely a learning curve with it. And I'll tell you why. Because it's so light, you're not used to controlling something with your round brush when it's so light. You're used to having a heavier um, device in your hand that kind of maybe gave you a little bit 
I would say more control because it's heavier. So you have to kind of work harder to do your hair. So definitely the first time there was a learning curve for me because I wasn't used to it. I wasn't used to how light it was. By the second time and now, you know, God, how many times have I done my hair? I don't have any issues with it. I literally can get my hair done. I mean, as you use it, you could go faster and faster because like I said, you just kind of had to know how to, how is it going to work? How are you going to blow your hair? What's going to be the best way to do it? So for the first time you use it, like with any product, it's going to be a learning curve. Um, it's just kind of your typical um, thing. You have your cool button here. You press it on and off. And then this just slides. It has low, medium, and high. I blow my hair on high. Nothing. It's not a, it's not a high tech, you know, device for the price. It's just a very simple, you know, you slide it up and down. Um, on the sides here are the filters that just kind of pop off like this and then you can kind of clean them. Um, I do try to clean them regularly. I don't like to have, you know, build up um, and it's on both sides and it's just very user friendly and you can just, usually what I do is after I um, do my hair and the dryer cools off, which does not take long to cool off because it, that's the, I feel like I'm all over the place, but I just take my wet towel damp towel and just kind of take this off and just kind of run it over there so if there's anything in there it just cleans it um that's the other thing for how hot it does get when you're using it after you set it down it cools off like that like that that <laughs> sounds better um it's it's amazing and, and what i will tell you when i do my hair when i used my other hair dryers i would blow my, out my hair and i'm i'm not to pat myself on the back but i do know how to give myself a really good blowout um i've learned for years from having friends that are hairstylists from getting my hair done for so many years i've learned the you know tips and tricks on how to really round brush your hair and to make it look nice um and i've, I've been able to do that i've i do that to my mom's hair you know when she wants it you know to be blown out and look nice i've i'm able to do that so i always felt like with with the teeth no matter how nice you're able to blow out your hair you would always have like that little bit of frizz and because i have naturally frizzy hair i live in a climate that has 100 percent humidity almost every day so no matter what your hair is going to frizz so when i used this the first time i blew it out and my god my hair looked so straight and i, I really wasn't trying to you know style it i just really wanted to give it give it a try and see how it was going to work um but man my hair was so straight and so soft and silky and it didn't have any frizz or any you know um, texture that that i didn't want to be there so it and as i've again as i used it more and more and i've practiced more to be able to you know round brush it to get a more of a bounce um i did my hair the other day you know a couple days ago and i blew it out and a couple days after the fact i didn't even need to curl my hair like i it's curled now because i'm filming and i want it to look extra extra nice but nine times out of ten when I blow my hair with this, it just looks so good. I don't feel the need to curl my hair. And, I, and it looks nice. It still has some body. You know, like when you go to the, the hairdresser and they blow out your hair like a, a day or so later, it still has like a bit of body, even though you haven't touched it. That's what this does. And it just smooths your hair. Like especially like the front pieces here, which get tend for me to get a little bit more frizzy because they're, they're just around my face. They just, they, they blow out like that and, they, and it's so smooth. And when you... You know, put this up against the, the, I wish I brought my hairbrush out to show you, but when you're putting it and you're round brushing your hair and you have, you know, okay, let's pretend this is the hair. <laughs> let's pretend this is the um, round brush and you're, you know, pulling your, not, not pulling, but you're, you know, round brushing your hair it, and you put this against it. It's not going to burn your hair, even though it's strong and powerful. It's not going to burn. It's just because of the, the technology of this. Um, I'm going to, I, I hate to read from boxes and stuff but um, i just want to kind of um briefly just kind of touch on this um again i said it's, it has natural volcanic minerals infuses um the microhydration ultimate shine and condition um it has the swivel cord which i will show you uh, dries your hair in under 10 minutes and it says um it has an eco drive motor that lasts up to 10 years and was derived from advanced technology used in the space program when motors needed to run more efficiently be reliable and last much longer and that's pretty much what i love about this is i love to learn you know how it came to be and how what makes it so great so to read that that you kind of like think oh okay and it was created by a hairstylist you know for hairstylists um now of course it's available to us which i love like almost everyone in that hair salon i go to uses this and they prefer it over the dyson they get the professional dysons they have over the t3s like it's pretty much a a bioionic um 
these are the tools that they use, whether it's the hair dryers, the tool, the, you know, irons and everything. So, you know, in looking at this, it, it's going to, again, it says it has the, the, the volcanic minerals in it, and it's going to emit negative ions that drive tiny water molecules deep into the hair, and your hair becomes hydrated and conditioned. And I can attest to that um, as someone, I mean, I don't have necessarily really dry hair, but I do have frizzy hair. And, you know, it's not, I don't heat style it often. I do my hair twice a week. And I will blow it. I will only, you know, curl it maybe once or twice a week, you know, and it's not going to be every day. I'm not putting heat on my hair every day. That, that would be foolish. It would, that would really damage your hair. You really don't want to do that. Um, now, something like this, it is very safe and gentle, but I still wouldn't recommend heat styling your hair every day or, or even washing your hair every day. I know there's a big controversy about washing your hair every day. Um, anyone that I've talked to, friends, hairdressers that are... They, everyone will tell you there's really no reason to wash your hair every day because it's just going to strip your hair and it's just going to, it's not, you need to give your hair time to breathe and to rest and to let the natural oils come through to really hydrate your hair and, and help it. So that's a whole nother story, but, um, you know, so I just wanted to kind of, I'm just reading the box and see if there's anything else I want to say to you from it. It just basically, it, it also says with zero emissions, 10 times is the world's first environmentally friendly dryer. So if you're like me and you care about those kinds of things, that's also a, a good thing to hear. But I wanted to also show you the um, bottom, the cord here. This doesn't move or anything, but it does. Um, it's just a very nice, you know, cord. It, it's it's user friendly. The whole thing is like ergonomical. Like that's the thing. Like when you hold it, it, it just the way your hand fits under it, it. It's it's really beautiful. So. A couple of the points, again, I wanted to reiterate the price on this. I will pull it up from um, the Ulta website. It is a pill. It is $329. Sephora does carry it as well. I mean, if you wanted to get this at Ulta, you definitely rack up a lot of those reward points. Same thing with Sephora. Um, personally, I would tell you to get it at Ulta because they do have a better rewards program. Um, and this, in turn, will give you cash back just the way that it is. I try to get as much as from Ulta as I can because I'm going to get cash back eventually. That's why I was able to cash in some reward points for this to get it a little bit cheaper. Um, and it just, you know, with the other hair dryers that they have, they're all around that same, you know, 199, 130, you know, 200, all, most hair dryers are around the T3 is 200. Um, so I want to just, again, reiterate the fact that this is so lightweight. It's not going to, if you have bad back or bad arms and you have a lot of hair or you want to, you know, blow your hair and you feel like other hair dryers are very heavy, this is very lightweight. I mean, you can probably, if you have it on display anywhere, you can probably feel it if you don't believe me. <laughs> I hope you do. But um, it's just, it's so nice. It, um, I don't even, you know, it has, here's the, the cord and it has the attachment, you know, if you wanted to wind it back up and, and do it. But the cord hasn't gotten tangled. It's just one of those things where it just doesn't get all tangled and all messed up. So. This gets a 10 out of a 10 from me. Two thumbs up. I cannot speak highly of this anymore. Um, I want to also reiterate that I have more hair than most people. So when it says 10 minutes on the box to you know dry your hair in under 10 minutes, if you have long hair or thick hair, it will probably be more like under 20 minutes, which is perfectly fine. And it's not gonna damage your hair. It's not gonna fry it. It's not going to, you're not gonna smell that, that like burning smell when you're blowing your hair. You're not gonna feel like you're you're drying it. Your, your hair after you finish blowing it out, it's actually gonna feel softer and more conditioned. And I truly can tell you that from my experience using it, it will. It will feel very, very soft and very pretty. You know, when you blow out your hair, um, even if you don't try to do it with the round brush and try to get it to look, you know, curled at the end, even if you just blow it out, just like normal, you're gonna see a difference. So if you were thinking about this, if you were thinking about getting a new hairdryer, if you're looking at that and you wanna splurge, I highly recommend this. I highly recommend actually anything from this brand. I mean, this is the only hairdryer from them I've used that I can speak for, but I'm sure there are other hairdryers I'm sure are just as good because of the technology behind it. I just love this brand for that, um, just for, for the science that they put behind their products. So I've rambled on for 15 minutes about this hairdryer. But I wanted to just, like I said, I've been really loving it. And because it's so expensive, I wanted to just kind of dedicate a whole video to it. You will see it in my favorites video that's coming up. And you probably will see it in my hair care routine, which I'm going to film. Um, just to, you know, if I'm showing you what I use or showing you what I've been loving, 
Um, I just wanted to dedicate a video to this because it is my new baby. And um, it's it's perfect. It's great. If you need to get a new hair dryer, check this out. And like I said, if you shop at Ulta and you have any of this to cash in, get it. And the next time they do their 20% off, that's actually what I would recommend. Um, even if you don't have any reward points, make sure this will apply to any of the 20% off. Even the ones that say that it's not for the um, prestige you know, uh, makeup, like when you get them and it's just for like kind of like the drugstore stuff, the hair care stuff is included in this. So this is included in the 20% off. And you probably could use it, the 350 off if you have that as well. But 20% off, can't beat it. I mean, Ulta's so good about that. They'll send them out randomly or if you're, that's one thing I love about Ulta. So that is that. If you have any questions about this, please let me know down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, you can Google it. You know, if you, you don't want to believe me what I'm telling you, you can Google it and read all about it. The reviews, they pretty much get five out of five reviews or five out of five stars. You know, any place that's rated, it just gets excellent reviews. It's an investment, but it's something, I mean, if the motor lasts 10 years and I have to just buy this in another 10 years, I'm happy. I don't, I don't mind because I've, like I said, I've gone through three T3s in 10 years, which is, that's still a lot of money. That's why that's almost a thousand dollars, two, four, six, 600. Um, that's still a lot of money, you know, for th in 10 years when this is supposed to last 10 years. So we'll see. I mean, I use it twice a week and I will keep you guys updated if anything goes wrong with it or if I, I don't see myself changing anytime soon because I really do love this, but I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys. Again, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys.